I had a great week last week on Weight Watchers and I'm super excited to tell you all about it. Hi everybody, it's Kathy. Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the very first time, I hope that you will go ahead and click that subscribe button. I do all sorts of videos. Currently, I'm doing a weekly Weight Watcher video. I do skincare, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. It would really mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel and I'd love to have you here. So, did you have a good week last week? I am so happy. I am down 1.9 pounds since last Thursday, which is my weigh-in day, for a grand total of 8.1 pounds. Yay! So I'm aiming real hard to get to that 10 pound milestone. I'm really excited to get to the double digits with my weight loss. I just, I think once I hit that 10 pound hurdle, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's more of a success. I feel that once I get over that 10 pound hurdle that uh, I really feel like I've accomplished something. And I know that sounds weird because I think that every week that I have a loss, I have accomplished something that I'm being hard on myself because every pound that I have lost up till now has been an accomplishment. But I don't know, I guess I'm just hard on myself and I, I won't feel like I really succeeded until I'm in the double digits. I don't know, does that make any sense? Do any of you ever have that sort of self-talk with yourself? I am noticing a difference. I feel that when I look in the mirror, my face is starting to look a lot thinner here, which is nice. <laughs> and also uh, I've lost a lot of the puffiness that I've had with my uh, double chin. Can't say that I've noticed a huge difference like in my jeans yet, um, but I do notice a difference in that I don't think I'm craving sugar as much as I had been like before I started Weight Watchers and I am a self-professed sugar addict. That is my downfall, sweets are my downfall. And um, I've really made a conscious effort to not buy any sweets or bring them into the house. Even if we go out to the restaurant and desserts included in my meal, 99% of the time I give my dessert to my husband. So I'm really proud of myself for making improvements with my eating that way. I find what helps me when I get like that three o'clock sugar craving and I always seem to hit a slump around three o'clock. What I've been doing is I have red seedless grapes washed and ready to go in the fridge. I will just take a great big handful, put them in a bowl and eat them and that just gets me over the hump. So that's a, a little trick that has helped and if I don't have grapes, I will have a banana. And both of those things are free to me on the green plan. So I'm happy. I think maybe my um, my sugar addict living inside of me is starting to uh, improve. So that's a good thing. I really want to hit the 10 pound mark next week. Is it doable? I don't know. Like when I look at the graph, my body doesn't like to give me big losses. And by big losses, I mean like anything over a pound and a half. That's a big loss, I think, when you're over 50 and trying to lose weight. I'm still perimenopausal and um, I have hypothyroidism, so I have those things sort of working against me. As I said earlier, any loss I think should be celebrated. But when I look at my weight loss graph on my phone in the Weight Watcher app, my body sort of likes to give me, okay, I'll give you a two pound loss here, but then next week it's only gonna be like a 0.4. So I have to stop fixating on the weekly, um, I guess the weekly number and I just have to look at the whole picture. So that is something that I'm going to work on this week. And then I have my cruise coming up. Uh, I'm a little worried about that because I'll be eating probably more than what I typically eat at home, but I'm not going to stress out about it because I will be more active. Uh, I'll be in the pool on the ship on sea days. Uh, I'm going to try and do their water aerobics classes. All the ports that we're going to uh, are beach stops, I guess. So I just like to play in the water, in the ocean. And I mean, that's uh, more activity than what I have been doing so far. So once I get back in February, hopefully the weather will be a little bit better and I can start walking outside. And if not, I'm gonna have to start doing my um, Leslie Stance on Walk Away the Miles DVDs in the house because I, I feel that it's time that I really need to start 
doing some sort of exercise just to uh, keep my weight loss consistent and uh, also start toning up as I lose weight because I don't want to have to deal, you know, with like floppy arms and floppy thighs, stuff like that. So tips so far that are really, I think, helping me to succeed so far this time. It, honestly, the number one tip that I can give you is just log everything you eat, whether whether or not it's within your budget for whatever program you're following. One day this past week, I just was having a bad day. So we went out for lunch and I had a pasta dish. I was just in one of those moods. I thought that I knew how many points was in the portion because where I live in Ontario, um, restaurants have to label all of the their food with the calories and I'm not sure if the fat count contents on there it might be in some of them I'll have to pay closer attention but I thought okay I'm okay with this um, particular dish I in my head I just a quick calculation and I thought okay it's probably around 30 points which is like my daily allowance but I still had like 40 additional weeklies that you get to use in Weight Watchers. I couldn't find the dish on my phone because it's a it's a new addition to their menu. So whenever I got home I went on the computer and I found the calories and the nutritional um, information and it was 70 points for a small pasta dish. 70 points. Remember me telling you about the cheesecake about a month ago? That really opened my eyes and was it worth 70 points at that moment in time? Yes. Will I have it again? No. <laughs> but it was good and I enjoyed it and I still had a loss. So I think the point that I'm trying to convey to you is sometimes if you're really craving something, I feel I'm just going to give in to the craving, then I'm going to let it go because I know me, if I don't give in to the craving, I'm going to eat everything in the cupboard and then I'm still going to eat what I was craving. So if I want to keep, like, if I want to stay in damage control mode, have what it is I'm having, it was still, I could still use my additional weekly points and I still ended up with a loss this week. So I guess don't feel that if you're craving something like you can't have it, just have it. I mean, don't have it every day, maybe once a week or once a month, but I really feel that it's important because for me, I have to look at this as how can I keep this lifestyle up for the rest of my life? If I just follow the program, to lose the weight that I want to lose and then I throw all of my newly gained healthy habits out the window, I'm going to be back at square one and then some because I've been there before. I've starved myself. I've gotten to be stick thin and then I start to eat and then you blow up again. I hope that by sharing sort of my struggles, it's maybe inspiring you and just knowing that I have you here every week, even if I'm talking to myself and nobody is out there, uh, it just helps to keep me in line and on track. So I will see you next week. I'm really, really, really gonna try to get that minus 10 pounds for next week, which would mean another 1.9 pound loss. Can I do it? I don't know. I'm not gonna beat myself up if I don't do it. And if I do do it, then I'm really gonna be happy. So either way, I'm gonna just stick to the program and whatever my body wants to give up this week, I'm gonna say thank you. And uh, you know what? It's gonna be still a loss, right? So you have to celebrate your losses no matter how big or how small. And even if you stay the same, that's great. Have a great week. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. It would really help my channel and as well as if you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you very soon. Bye.